So we're back in the Warriors Village. Um, before we went any further, I wanted to recruit Moose here. Howdy, got some work? Let's recruit him. Us, Moose, Moose, you've all joined the Liberation Army. Master Snappy, if they believe in you, so can I. If you'll let me join. Yes, join. So in order to do that, I actually had to have Mies, Moss, and Moose with us. <laughs> So, um, now that we have Moose, we can upgrade our weapons, so I will go upgrade our weapons, and then we'll be back at the Temple of Quan, Quan, whatever. So we're back in the, uh, Temple of Quan, and we have all three types of seeds, and we just recruited Moose, who upgraded our weapons to level 15. Um, that's not the highest level possible, level, uh, 16 actually is. Um, mm -hmm. so we still have one more blacksmith to go. It's worth also mentioning that we had to go and gamble a whole lot because we burned all of our money. We actually gambled right before we did that, pretty much. And we bought some armor, but we had to gamble all over again. We spent all 999,000 bits, pretty much. We had to do it again, so it was really expensive. Delivered red flower seeds. Delivered the blue flower seeds. And we delivered the yellow flower seeds. Good, good. Now I can finish my work here. Thank you so much for the seeds. You're welcome. Now we get to sit here and watch him finish, because I can't move. There we go. So now I'm a member of your party. Sweet. Okay, let's try to go through this red gate thing, huh? Okay. Or not. <laughs> I guess we'll go inside now. Oh, well, that door's locked. We'll go it's the front door. locked. Walk around. Ooh, look, this guy's here. That's funny. Where could it be? Say, brothers, have you seen the war scroll anywhere? I'm so embarrassed being the librarian. If you see it, please let me know. I'll repay you. Ooh. Uh, what? A librarian, you say? And we just stole one of your books. Sorry, I didn't mean to click that. We got the old book, volume three. Ooh, someone else is over here. Lots of people in here. My name is Morgan, due to circumstances. I'm staying here. And you, Master Smappy? I would surely like to see your face. You have an interesting voice. Oh, excuse me. I've been blind since birth, but in fact, I see better than others. Let's recruit him then. I can see a big sky behind your back. My life is in your hands. Sweet. He's actually a pretty decent fighter. I was going to say, for me, he's like, you know, nondescript fighter number 36. <laughs> I was expecting you at a rival star, Master. His head is so shiny, I can never get over it. His nose is so red, I can't get over it. <laughs> star Master? What's that? Do you know Smappy? Oh, you're right, it is really red. I can't get past the head. Of course. Master Smappy is the destined leader of the 108 stars of heaven and earth. Ooh, 108, you say? 108 stars? Cleo, this priest is bonkers! Victor, you were born under the star of heavenly loneliness, and Cleo, under the star of heavenly fulfillment. You were all born under the signs of the 108 stars, as was I myself. We are all destined to gather together, once again, under Master Smappy's sign, the Star of Heavenly Guidance. <laughs> That's enough babbling, old man. Now listen to what we have to say. I already know. You've come here to find out how to destroy Necklord the Vampire, correct? Then you know a way? Yes, I do. Please follow me. Yeah, he joined us. What is this? An altar? This is the entrance to the cave of the past. What you are looking for is in there. If you know we were coming, why didn't you make preparations? Master Smappy, much awaits you in the cave. You must be ready to accept it all. Okay. Please go in and be sure to watch yourselves. 
Ooh, you remove that gate pretty fast. Please be very careful. I really don't like this dungeon. Um, I, I get it, lost in it for some reason. Yeah, I can understand why. It kind of looked like a fold-up gate to me, honestly. <laughs> we'll just have Loon... Luna. We'll just have Luke watch for a while. I'm having problems with names today. I think we're all having problems with reading everything and talking about this game in general. Yeah. I'm hoping that we can level to the point. I think the reason we actually have to fight these guys is Luke is such a low level. I'm hoping that we can jump them up fast enough that we don't have to fight. We equipped the champion's crystal, um, so we don't have to fight anything that's let go. Hey, hmm. let's see how long we've been sitting around. Hmm. No, no, oh, not too bad. Yeah. There's one thing I always forget in this dungeon. I'm gonna have to remember where it is. I was gonna say, I, I got this. I, I have this dungeon confused with one and Sweet and two, I think, and I'm like, okay, I know there's like a hidden character to recruit in one of them, but. Yeah, this one reminds me. You're right. I actually do know which one you're thinking of now. Um, but he's in the other one, I think. So. Wow, we're all. Ooh, we're level 40 now! We can go recruit AK. And then don't forget the fact that we needed to recruit a certain number of people before we could go get Quincy. Yeah, I don't think we're at Quincy's number yet. I'd be surprised. Really? I think we have Quincy's number. Really? Then we'll go bug Quincy. Because we needed like another 12 at the time, I think, and I think we've gotten we've gotten a whole lot today. In these um, last like six or so recordings, I guess, or seven recordings. I guess we can check after we do this dungeon. We can go recruiting real quick. Man, Luke has jumped from level, like, 8 to level, whatever it is now, 39 or something. Yeah. He's just gonna be ridiculous. I'm surprised I have to fight these things still. This is ridiculous. Yeah, hey, I'm not complaining. I mean, it's free levels for Luke. That's true. And everyone else is still kind of leveling. I mean, look, they die in the Unite attack. No one even does anything. I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> Ooh, we got an escape so yeah, but... and we got everybody up to level forty now. Plus, well, everybody except Luke is level forty-one, so Luke is yeah. forty. Flowing crystal. The flowing crystal is actually really cool. It's an upgrade of the water crystal. Um, so it dumps the very, you know, the lowest spell and adds an even better spell on top of that. So then you even you get more like, um. What's the word I'm looking for? Um, healing rain. Ooh, a window crystal. Gotcha. So more potency, basically. Yeah, it's it's way cooler. We haven't really used so, a water crystal because we haven't needed it, but generally I always have someone in my party with a water crystal. But since we've been like freakishly overpowered for this run of Suikoden One, I haven't needed it. Yeah, normally you're having to actually heal during these boss battles and stuff, or during even miscellaneous battles sometimes. And it's always kind of a balancing act between trying to... Actually, no, not so much in Suikoden 1. In Suikoden 2, when you have multiple runes, and they all share your spell pool, like you can do like, you know, three oh, yeah. level two spells or whatever, then you have to kind of do a balancing act between attacking and healing. Because they kind of consume the same pool of charges that you get for the spells. I think I just went the right way. Yeah, hold on, think... let me go back. You need to go to the left down here, you mean? Ooh, a speed room piece. Nice. Who's got that? Blue cat. Oh, hold on. I gotta let my dog inside. Okay, so now our speed is increased. Sweet. And uh, I think we're almost out of time. So let me get this treasure chest, and then uh, in the next video. Oh my god, 5,000 bits. In the next video, we will make our way.